hello welcome to my channel again today I'm going to teach you how to do these two overlap processes here the first one is divide and the second one is remove overlap I have done a previous video on weld and subtract and I'll have the link down, be down below but it really depends I the reason why I did the other one first was because those are the two I think functions that we use the most but this is really helpful too and I have example of both actions here and that's what we're going to have at the end but I'm going to show you the difference between these two okay so the first thing we're going to do is to grab a shape and I chose to do the heart so here we are we have a heart I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller place it here and I'm going to cut and paste which is Control C, Control V to duplicate. I'm actually going to do that four times because I'm going to leave the hearts below for the other effect, okay? So we have two hearts here. Oh, and also if it's a Mac, it's Command C, Command V to duplicate, to copy and paste. Um, so how, how can we do this? In this example here, what we're going to use is this one, is divide. And why is that? Because we want the overlapping area, Here's, here, here it is, we're going to make sure by selecting both, go here to align, just make sure that it's aligned, and it is. We want to keep all these little parts. We want to remove this overlap, but we want to not remove to cut it, but we want it to stay there so that I can change the color, right? So I'm just pretending this is the front of a card. So let's say you have two card stocks. One will be the red one and the other one will be blue. And you can cut this twice and just do this effect on, in, on the front of your card. So here's how you do this. You select both images, come down here to process overlap, and you do, oh, let me do something to make it easier for you to see. We're going to change colors. One will be red and the other one will be green right we're going to select both let me get rid of this select both and you click on divide so what it does is this is actually cut but you have all the little pieces still to still there you don't get rid of it if you had done the same thing selected both and you had clicked here subtract one of the images would disappear and you would just have like a chunk of the second so let's say you want to do this in front of your card what you would do now would be to just send this to your skin and cut cut it twice on two different colors and just use it like that you glue one here glue the other here and the other here so let's say you're going to cut two green ones and the other one would be purple so you have everything there that you need to do whatever you want you can either put them together or separated like this. But the main thing for you to know is that all the parts are preserved. They stay there. The overlap is cut, but the parts will be there. The shapes are preserved. The other one, this is not what happens. It's actually the opposite. And for this one, I'm going to change again the color so you see, because for this second one, it is important to know which one is in front of which because that's the one that's going to cut and you can see by sliding the shade or the shapes see and you see that this one is in front of the of the of the other heart the pink one and the way for you to see and i want to show you is you click here we're on edit now if you go down you see something called layers when you click you see that this heart is on the top of this one and that's how you see where it is if it's on top the further up you go you know that this shape is on top of this this would be on top of the one below and that's how it works so let's say you want to cut this one though you would just hold here and pull it up see how it's in front now that's how you change the position. And the position is very important when you do this overlap here. I'm just gonna do the opposite. There you go. So you have the hearts in the same position as those were. 
but look at how different the effect is. I'm going to select both by just dragging your mouse or you can just click on one, hold the shift key and click on the other. I'm going to go back here to edit and that's where it is and we're going to click on remove overlap. You look at it so nothing happened, well not really. If you separate them and you move on to the right you see that it actually, actually it kind of, it's like biting, it eats a chunk of the one that's underneath the shape that you want to cut. So there you are. These are the two overlap functions that Converse uh, Workspace gives you and you can do the same directly on your skin and cut. But I think it's always easier to work on your canvas and then you can just save your file and export to your scan and cut or you can save it on your, on your computer or in a flash drive and just take it to your machine. I just think that it's much easier to manipulate and to color and to cut and to move around, to resize, to do whatever you need on your canvas workspace and then send it to your scan and cut. So I hope you learned the difference between these two and make sure to check the other video that I did on these other two here, the weld and the subtract. Thank you so much for being here again and make sure to let me know if you have any doubts or questions and just leave me, you know, drop me a comment below. Thank you.